Hey guys, for this update, I wanted to do a little bit of the history of where we've been, where we're going, and kind of give you guys a little bit of a shout out for being able to make it so far along this road. So when we started Lightcam, we had initially built a prototype using readily available components. And then we built that into a new prototype. And then eventually we built this prototype, the one you guys saw in the video. This was actually built using some amazing components using radio frequency. So we were getting ready to build it as we said on our campaign to build it into a Wi-Fi unit to enable it to be able to do everything we wanted it to do. So with your support and help, we were able to go from this prototype to a couple of prototypes in where we're able to get the unit to be able to extend the way we needed to, to be able to turn the way we needed to, to be able to get the high-end 1080p HD night vision we wanted it to. But it went from being really sleek to a little bit boxy. As you can imagine, as we started working with the factory and everyone else, all the engineers, everyone's trying to get this back to a little bit more of a, uh, I don't know, sleek Coke bottle kind of design, right? So we narrowed it down, but we still had these issues with this really wide, really gigantic lens case, um, very limited speaker capabilities. So this was about where we were in January. So you guys saw it, the light cam was functional. It, everything inside was amazing, but the casing just wasn't quite there. We met with uh, several big investment firms and investment groups, and, and we met with some retail partners, and they all said, this is amazing, it's gonna work great, we can't wait for you to come out with a version that looks better. So the tough part about that is we sat down there and said, our Indiegogo backers, our you know, pre-sale backers have been with us. You guys have been with us for, I mean, way too long already. Are we gonna ship a version to you that we're already planning on replacing with a much more aesthetically pleasing, a little bit higher in version within two months? So the tough part about that is we sat down there and said, our Indiegogo backers, our you know, pre-sale backers have been with us. You guys have been with us for, I mean, way too long already. Are we gonna ship a version to you that we're already planning on replacing with a much more aesthetically pleasing, a little bit higher in version within two months? Um, hard decision, we decided basically we would go ahead and redesign from the ground up so that within that two month period, we'd be able to get you something that was far superior to everything else that we've already shown. And the best part is it's done. So you'll notice you've got a way, way better speaker, way, way more clarity. The two-way communication is awesome. We are able to adjust it so you see the top. It's able to withstand the high heat, bitter cold, so it's gonna survive and be weatherproof. The extension arm, if you'll notice, um, let me grab onto that guy. It's a much smoother fluid flow it comes out way further than the other ones did. It's set up so that whatever the encasing, whatever the glass, whatever the fixture you're putting this guy in, it's gonna work better. With our testing, we realized the closer we could get your lens to the glass, the more likely you'd see perfect and see clearly through it. So we made a detachable skirting so you can use it if you need it. If not, you can take it off. We set it up so that obviously you can see down, you can see up just like we were intending. We aim that down for you. But we put on a wider angle lens. We were able to get a, a higher quality, wider angle lens than we, we had with the previous design. So that instead of having about 120 degrees of viewing, you've got about 150. What that means is you really don't have to be trying to angle it to see what's happening. You'll be able to see it from the get go. Now, the other important piece we were able to do, I don't know if you notice this, in the base, we wanted to have lighting coming out the top and the bottom. In order to make that possible, we had to move the lens up just a little bit. We're still able to see down just like we planned before, but what this did was it enabled us to have full lighting in the base. So, super exciting. We were able to take basically this unit that produced about three, 400 lumens of light, into this guy, which is gonna be much closer to our 900 lumen kind of threshold. Now, let me pull this guy up for you real quick. You can see it. We'll bring up your light cam app. 
Okay. Pretty simple. We're online. Video one. It'll announce, let you know that it's filming. Turn it over. Say hi. 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 <laughs> okay. Here's some of the cool, cool stats on this. The base, just like before, rotates. Super simple. That way you can screw it in, screw it out. You can take snapshots. Again, you've still got the two-way communication. It's got these little tick marks. I don't know if you've noticed these from before. So as you go back in time, you can actually see incidents and say, hey, well, let me go, let me go back to the future and see what happened earlier today. And it'll load up and, and basically let you see, hey, look, I had some guests over. We were testing, checking out the different versions of the light cam, light bulb camera, getting ready. I mean, basically it's for some really awesome stuff for you guys. I've really been uh, super grateful with all the encouraging messages, all the patience that I've received from you guys. I would be uh, furious if I was in your position sometimes. So we can fast forward and notice as soon as you fast forward to when the recording's done, it automatically jumps back to live mode. So you're right here, right in the present moment. Oh, hello, hello. Here we are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and if you'll notice, you've got still your same controls. You can bring up your light. Much, much brighter. So awesome. We've got the, the adjustable LEDs in there. So you're gonna be able to, to do the, the color temperature you guys have been wanting. You're going to be able to bring it down really, I mean, almost as dim as you as you can get, you know, clear to off. Very exciting. We can come over here. Let me turn that off for you. You can, you can come into your settings and then this will be laid out a little differently, but we've got some exciting things here. So number one, we've set it up. So if your light cam needs to film in a, in a screw down or even a uh, screw up sconce, <laughs> like people have, you'll be able to adjust the viewing angle from normal or reverse horizon or even just alter, alternate it as needed. You're gonna be able to come down here to your LED control. You've got your auto, which is basically sunrise, sunset. So if it's dark or light, you can put on timing. We're gonna be continuing to develop this out. You guys, you probably realize that developing the hardware was only a third of the problem. This was a super difficult innovation because not only do we have to build the hardware to run this, we had to actually build the firmware to go from the hardware to an app, which I don't know if you've ever tried to build an app, it's pretty freaking hard. And to build an app that has encrypted you know, video communication so that your, your footage is secure, also very difficult. So truly when you guys back this project, I, I can't believe all the support I've received from guys who know about those three different pieces because we wanted to get into it for the hardware so that we, we could build a piece that would accomplish what we wanted. And what we had to learn along the way was firmware and software. So we're very, very thankful and grateful to you guys for your patience. Um, the exciting announcement is we've received several of these units. So we've been testing them and they're ready to go. So we green lighted all of the manufacturing and they're moving forward with finishing the tooling finishing the rest of the app and uh, getting excited to get these shipped out to you guys, um, hopefully within the next few months. What I'd like from you guys is we've built a feedback section into the app. So as we are ready, we're gonna email you guys. So hang tight, don't get on the comments and be like, where's my link at, what the heck? We're gonna email you guys your info for your shipping and the info on how to download the app, whether you're Android or iOS users. And then there's a feedback section that you're gonna be able to give us the things you love the things that need improvement, some of the things that might not exist. And you said, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be cool if? So we're gonna get that to you guys um, as soon as possible. I mean, really soon, we're very excited. And thank you again for the support, for all of the, the kind messages, um, for the patience. I, I know um, it's quite a long time to hang in there. I've been really honestly quite surprised at how much Everybody, all the backers understand about this process. I mean, most people have written me and said, hey, what you've guys done by developing hardware and firmware and an app all at one time, all in this time frame, is unbelievably ambitious and stunning what you've come up with and, and that you've been able to finish it and that you're actually gonna go ahead and deliver. I'm very proud of you guys. Um, I, a lot of you guys knew way better than we did what, what challenges we were in for. 
And so um, we've just tried to be open and keep you guys informed. I apologize, it's taken us a little bit longer to get this update to you. Um, as you can imagine, we were waiting on all these units and I wanted to have like concrete stuff to discuss with you so that you knew exactly where we're at so that we're ready to roll forward. So appreciate you guys. I hope you have a good one. Um, write me if you need anything. You can always reach out to us um, in the comments or even better if you write customerhappiness at lightcam.com. Our team will get back to you. Thanks.